this is my skinny tutorial for XSI. Okay. Open XSI. Duh. Uh, runs kind of slow. 32 bit program, 64 bit computer. Don't mind me, I'm just exiting stuff at this moment. Okay. First step create some XSI primitives. Don't go there. Um, XSI primitives. I do a cylinder and a cube just because they're different and they will both need skins eventually. Doesn't matter what you really use. Most models are composed of primitives anyway. And they will all need skins. I use the user camera because it doesn't like because it has a bigger edge of viewing. Go to GIMP and once it loads you will need to create a new image. It needs to be five it needs to be a square of two. I use five hundred and twelve by five hundred and twelve, the size of most textures in the game, I think. I color it black so I can see the UVs really plainly. And then I render a grid so I can match up my UVs against the grids on the skin. It helps a lot. Save your skin in the proper directory with the appropriate name. And it must be a TGA with RLE compression unchecked. Go back to XSI, select your primitives, and go to Material, Fong, click on the first plug, and go to Image, New, New from File. Browse to your directory. I have desktop on favorites. You're probably going to have to find it somehow. Select your skin and click OK. Now you will, with them selected, go to Property, Texture Projection, Unique UVs. Now you can see your skin on them. Now you're probably going to want to re-UV them. You'll have to click Alt and 7. Alt and 7 to bring up the texture editor. Now, select some UVs. I'm selecting the top of the cylinders. We're going to make a scope like object skin thingy today. Um, move those around just so you get the hang of it. Select the main body of the cylinder, and I'm putting it in a different mode so I can only skin it with one piece. And I'm just moving the cylinders around now. Um, then we select the cube. Alt 7 again brings up the coordinate editor. Now I do some more UV editing. They're the same thing. Oops. Scale it down. Now we go back and we do some skinning. Shouldn't have closed GIMP. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to make a scope-ish thing first. Now remember, don't do skins this locality. They're garbage. Um, just blue and... I don't know. Is that blue? I'm colorblind. Uh, blue and black. Just going to use this brush I downloaded for a scope. There. Now we're going to make the outside of the texture piece. get a gray color just for metal color it in now you gotta make sure to save as so you can turn RLE compression off when you save absolutely necessary go back to XSI now select your cylinder I guess now and alt 7 to bring up the coordinate editor nothing fits well select the main body and you can scale it up and make it fit that gray piece like so now we take the ends of the cylinders and fit them to the scopish thingy end now as you can see our texture has not been applied when this happens go to property Okay, material, Fong, but don't go to image, go to sources and click the name of your skin and it will bring it back up. Now we can see what we've made. It's bad, but it's a start. Now we're going to make a skin for the box, just because. Now, yellow box, easy enough. Um, now, 
I'm just going to write something on the box so we can see what we can do. Yeah, Indiana Joe Productions. Remember that. Oh, get the phone. Sorry about that. Okay. I just layer merge down so it can have only one layer. Save. Make sure all the compression's off. We're going to need to scale it down so we can fit. Well, we don't need to scale it down. And now, there we go. Yes, left Phoenix store. You are now in the video. You're welcome. Okay. There we go. We have skinned our objects. 